is going to be not a Roblox video, but it is going to be a helpful video. So, but before we start the video, I recommend you turn the phone that you're holding right now, if you are watching this video, you hold it the normal way you would hold a phone, other than the way that you would hold it if you were like watching a movie or something, because then you can see the full screen. And sometimes if you're holding it the way that you would watch a movie, then you can't see the full screen. So yeah, I recommend you turn it the way that you would just normally be holding it if you were to text someone or something like that. But onto the video, as you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be showing you how I make my thumbnails. <clears throat> so, you are going to need to be using, or you're going to need Fonto to do this. And, yeah, one thing that you guys want to do, though, is pick out your, th or your, um, you want to go ahead and uh, pick out, like, a picture from Google or something that you want your thumbnail to be. So, yeah, you can just kind of do that however you want it to be and just kind of do what you want to do, but, or just kind of do the, um, picture that you want to do but i'm just going to use fonto and use a plain um image but <clears throat> what i'm going to do is go to plain image after you click the camera click the white one next to the black one and then click at the top <clears throat> then click custom and this is if you're doing it the way i'm doing it if you want to like um do like a background that's like um not just a color then you can make it like different which i'm actually kind of planning on doing that <clears throat> but so that you know what your um background like the right um size for a thumbnail is you should go ahead and do this you click custom and then you back this out and then you back this out and you go up to the top and put 1280 by 720 <clears throat> not 750 720 <clears throat> and you can just um use it and save it Okay, so yeah, once you do that, I'm just going to get back to you guys once I find the picture that I want. So yeah, I'll see you guys after I find the picture. Uh, so I finally found my picture, and uh, I chose this one right here. I just decided to kind of make a bedroom, or kind of just like get a bedroom that I like, which is a kind of a gray one. <clears throat> but basically how to do it is you just want to click here at the bottom, click add image, and I'm not going to do that because that's where my photos are. But you click add image, and then you can just click the photo that you want. Then once you have it up like this, and you want to make sure you still have this open, <clears throat> the normal page that we were just at, then you're going to want to go ahead and drag it to the middle, and then click size, and then make it like a lot bigger, but not too much, and just make sure that it is um, pretty much the same size as this right here. And it's okay if it's a bit over, because that won't really matter. And you're going to see that it looks a bit weird, but you just have to put the height up a bit more too to make it look a lot better so yeah i'm just gonna adjust it a little bit there we go so now it kind of just looks normal then <clears throat> you're gonna want to go ahead and find if you want to add um your person into it you're gonna want to go ahead and just add the um roblox character that you want so i guess i'll get back to you guys once i add my roblox character okay guys so i just added my roblox character it's right here and um this is what it looks like <clears throat> now guys if you don't know how to do that i you guys can tell me down in the comments if you want a tutorial on how you would actually um get this but basically you just kind of have to ooh, accidentally that okay there we go you kind of have to um do a few things like erase it from the background that it was and stuff like that and then so you can put it in here and save it as a png but i will do that a more ad I this is like kind of more advanced but <clears throat> if you kind of want to do it like that I will hopefully do one of those in the future but once you have your Roblox character you're going to want to size it and make it a lot bigger probably about this big and then you have that so that's pretty good then you're going to want to cl click anywhere on the screen and then click add text and I downloaded a few fonts right here so yeah I'm just going to use this one i'm not sure if i want to use this one or not i'm actually just kind of gonna choose which one i want to use um let's see if this one looks nice oh wait no that's just my name so i'm gonna put how yeah see that's a bit hard to see and that's why sometimes i don't use this but it's still a really good one and i still use it but 
I still, just for the sake of it being like gray and stuff, <clears throat> I'm just going to use this one. So you're going to put that there. I'm just going to put it at the very top right here. Then you're going to go to style. I'm going to go to stroke and I'll put it all the way at 30. Now I'm going to make it just this light gray at the very front. And then it's perfectly, and you can perfectly see it. So that's pretty good. I'm just going to make it a bit um, smaller. Okay, there we go. And then you can put how I make. Oh, wait, no. I'm just going to put how I and do that. And I'm going to back this out and then just put make. How I make my. There we go. How I make my. And I'm going to go to stroke. Put it all the way at 30. Do the gray again. How I make my, and I'm just going to type in thumbnail, if I can even type it. Okay, there we go. Thumbnails. So now that we have that there, you can just go to style, go to stroke again, put it all the way at 38, and color it the way you want it. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller so that you can fit it better. Um, it's got a YouTube notification. Okay. <clears throat> and that's kind of it. You can just kind of adjust the words the way you want them to be. And yeah, this is pretty much the finished. And then you can just click um, the little download symbol at the bottom. And then click save image. And I'll say save successfully. So yeah, oh my goodness. There's only an ad. Okay, close. So yeah, that was the tutorial on how to make the thumbnail. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it helped. Make sure to subscribe. And a comment down below video ideas. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.